What magical friends, I'm Kamingo! Now in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the location of every single heart marker inside of Find the Markers. All 42 of them. But before I show you all those, if you are missing any of these mediums or easy markers, make sure to check out the videos down in the description because I show off locations of every single one of these. But let's go ahead and start off with the first marker, which is the atomic marker. Now, what you're going to do to get this one is you're going to head over into the factory building. And once you get to the factory building, go ahead and head to the very back room up to this right here. Go ahead and interact with the microscope. And I'll play this quick little animation. And as soon as the animation is done, all around the factory, there's a bunch of different locations. It'll spawn little items like this one right here. It's like little blue and red atoms. And what you're going to do is you're going to pick them up and you're going to go ahead and take Take them to the microscope until it gives you the correct one. So this one right here is not the correct one. This is one of the false atoms. This is the atom pen. But there are a bunch of locations these can spawn in. So you have one right here inside the office. You have another one over here by this little container. You can see it right here. You have another one that spawns on this second light right here. Then you have another one that spawns right here. Then you have another one inside of this troll room right here. You can get one that spawns right there next to that lava jump. And there's another one over there as you can see. Then over in this room we have another one that spawns right here. And I'm pretty sure there's another one that spawns like right here too. And also make sure to pick up this golden key right here inside of this room and then take it over here into the storage closet and another one can spawn right here in front of the developers. And there we go, we now have the atom marker! And it'll TP you into this room where you can go ahead and grab it. Now the next markers we're going to be grabbing is the Aurora marker, Ivory marker, and also the Shadow marker. All three of these are like all the exact same location. So what you're going to do for these markers is you're going to go ahead and you're going to head over to the giant obby mountain over here. Just make your way through the obby. And once you get to this point, go ahead and stand on this second ladder, and then you want to jump over into this hole right here. You can kind of see, like, the little difference in the stone texture. Go ahead and jump in there, and then in here is the ivory marker. Now, once you grab that one, go ahead and continue going on the obby. All the way up to here. So if you're trying to get the Aurora marker, climb this ladder. Otherwise, jump down there if you're trying to get the Shadow marker. But let's go ahead and do the Aurora marker first. So let's go ahead and climb up this ladder from the white tree. And then let's follow along these little Aurora beams. All the way over here where we can now grab the Aurora marker. Then once you grab that one, go ahead and fall down all the way down here. And then from this spot, try to jump down to that hole right there. Like loop around the wall. And there we go. We landed in here. So let's go ahead and go and grab the shadow marker right here. Now the next markers we'll be grabbing is the BFDI marker, the bluish gray marker, the ice marker, the night marker, the merchant marker, and also the wizard mark. All of these are inside of the medieval area. But let's go ahead and start off with the BFDI marker, which you can get by going over here in the market area, over to the edge of the map. And once you get over here, you should be able to see a little marker hanging over the edge. Just go ahead and jump back and in, land on it, and then you'll be able to get the marker. The next one is the bluish gray marker. To get this one, head over to these little blue tree area, and over on this back corner by the castle, Climb up this right here. And basically just try to walk over this entire obby going over all of these trees. Every single jump is pretty hard to see though, so try to face downward if you can, so that we can kind of like pair them off of the ground. But go ahead and walk on this beam, keep your mouse or the center of your screen in the middle so you don't fall off. 
jump over to this one, and then you have these really hard tiny jumps over to that tree right there. I'd recommend at least trying to get to the second one, and from the second one, jump all the way over to the tree. Don't bother trying to jump to the tiny jumps. Go all the way to the tree. Make sure you have sprint on too so you can actually make it. But there you go, that is how you get the bluish gray marker. Now the next one to go for is the wizard marker. To get this one, go ahead and go inside the castle and right below the staircase, walk inside of here and you can find the wizard marker hiding under the stairs. Now the next one we'll be doing is the merchant marker and also the ice marker. So in order to get the merchant marker, what you're gonna do is go ahead and walk over here and talk to the merchant marker. And just go through all of his dialogue. He wants you to collect up 10 coins all around the map. And once he claimed that, the first coin that I'm taking to is over where the ice marker is. So just go ahead and walk over to the giant mountain and go up to the second ramp right here. And once you get here, if you look over the edge of the map, there is a uh, there's a little hole in the side right there. Go ahead and jump into that and squeeze through. There we go. And inside of here is your first coin and also the ice marker. But for the other nine coins, go ahead and teleport to spawn and just follow this path right here. But the first one is right here in the main little grass area by spawn. The second one is over here in the merchant area on this stand right here. Then for the third one, you can find it right here on the other side of the stands. And for the fourth one, it's over here in the blue area on top of the blue campfire. The next one is over here inside of the castle in front of the king. Go ahead and grab that one. Then the next one is upstairs right here near the front of the castle and then go ahead and head over to this back right corner and climb on top of this tower where you can find the next coin. Then go ahead and head over to the swamp area where you see the next coin on top of this tree right here to get this one. Go to this lily pad next to the one with the flower on it and go ahead and when you boost in the air go ahead and walk towards the tree and grab the coin and then for the very last one go ahead and go to the very top of the mountain and grab it right here then once you grab all of those go ahead and head back over to the merchant marker talk to him and he will give you the merchant marker there we go and for the last one here, we have the Night Marker. Now to get this one, what are you gonna do? Is you have to head up into the tower of the castle. This one right here on the right side. But go ahead and climb up here and be careful because there is a Night Marker up here that's gonna try to fight you. Oh no, it scared me. Uh, there we go, okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. And your goal is to try to take out the Night Marker. Now it does go down on the second swing as you can see it has died. Then we go and turn on player so I can see everyone else up here. But on the second full swing that looks like this, that it hits the marker, will kill it. And the person that does it will get it. So if you go down there and swing it at it when it first spawns, you won't get it. The next person will. There we go, spawned in. So let's go ahead and have this guy hit it first. There we go, then we hit it, and then we got the night marker. So they hit it once, then I hit it, and then I got the marker. So there we go. I'll wait for them to get back so that way they can get it too. I'll help them out with it. Now the next one is the battery marker. Now to get this one, what we're gonna do is we head over into the little clock tower town. And then you'll head over into this house on the left. It's the second one. And right behind a destroyed fridge, you should be able to find the battery marker just hiding back here. Now the next one is the camera marker. This one is pretty easy. It's just right over here towards the clock tower. Village in spawn. And on the other side of the tree, you can see it hiding right there. Now the next one we'll be grabbing is the candy cane marker. And also on the way, we're gonna be getting the lollipop marker too. So to get these markers, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over into the Candyland area. And once you get in here, go ahead and jump up on top of all of these marshmallows. And before you go any farther, in order to get the lollipop marker, go ahead and jump inside of this lollipop right here. And inside of it is the lollipop marker. But once you grab that, let's go ahead and jump out and head all the way up here so that way we can grab the candy cane marker. And to get it, just go ahead and jump down this slide, jump on this ledge right here, and then jump right here on this. 
where you should be able to see this little candy cane right here. Go ahead and touch that. It will teleport you to this room. Now watch out because these red lines are all be jumps and they will kill you. So go ahead and jump over all of those. Oh wait, no. I teleport back on accident. So here we go, jump over the first one, then the second one, third one, and then grab the candy cane marker. Now the next one we're gonna be grabbing is the capless marker and also the green marker. Now to get these, what are you gonna do is you're gonna head over here towards the obby mountain. And right over here behind the mountain is the capless marker hiding over here on this cliff. And over here in basically the exact same location, you can see it right there. We have the green marker. Now, how to get this one is I'd recommend line up your character to the side like this to the marker. Make sure you have shift lock enabled and you want to move like this. Go ahead and jump out and then in like this. And you should be able to get the green marker pretty easily. I find it a little bit easier than trying to like jump like this. It's a little bit easier to hit it the other way. Now, the next markers we're going to be getting is the cheese marker. The Nebula Marker, and also the Void Marker. Now get all of these, go ahead and head over into the factory, and you would head over to Mars. And once you get to Mars, go ahead and for the Nebula Marker, go ahead and head over to this mountain. If you want the other two, head over to the wooden sign over there. But once you get to this mountain, go ahead and jump up here, go to this ledge right here, and you want to jump to this one right there. There we go. Okay, we barely made that one. Then you want to go up to this little corner and you want to jump over to this right here, to here, and then all the way up to the top where you can grab the nebula marker. Then once you grab that one, go ahead and head over to this wooden side right here. And you want to go ahead and fall down into the void where I'll put you into this room. And for the cheese marker, go ahead and interact with the moon on the earth right there where you can find the cheese marker. There we go. Then go ahead and walk back here, teleport back, and then we'll head over to this black hole right here. Go ahead and interact with this, and then follow the path I take right here. So you want to go ahead and go straight, then you want to go through this first door right here, all the way to the back, and then you want to enter this doorway right here. Then go all the way, then you want to go right, then you want to go straight all the way to the back, head all the way to the right, and then you head all the way straight back to this room here. Then once you go here, go ahead and move back a tiny bit, and then move this direction over here, and then right here is the void marker. Now the next one is the chicken marker. Now how you get this one is you want to go ahead and head over here into the forest. And once you get over here, go ahead and walk across these vines over to the other mountain. There we go. And once you get over here, there is this little rock right here in the forest. Now, when you step on this one, it will teleport you up into the air all the way up there. And you're going to start falling. Now, when you start falling, go ahead and start walking backwards like this. So we're going to touch the rock and immediately start walking back for like a second. And I'll land you on this platform right here. And right in front of you is the chicken marker. Now the next markers that we're going to be grabbing is the cloud marker and also the wild marker. Now to get these, what you're going to do is you're going to head over into the house in the forest. And if you're trying to get the wild marker, go up to the right here, stand on this little brick, and type in chat, pray to wild card like this. And once you do that, it'll go ahead and spawn in the wild marker on this chair right here. And if we're trying to get the cloud marker, go ahead and enter this fireplace right here. You wanna go ahead and enter the fireplace, then you wanna exit the fireplace. And once you're on top of the chimney, make sure you have sprint off, and you're gonna go ahead and do these jumps right here. I recommend not having sprint enabled because they do make it harder, but just go ahead and jump up all those obstacles. If you do fall, you can either just go down the house and re-enter through the fireplace, or you can go off the back and jump off this little brick marker, and it gets a little bit faster if you're able to do it. But once you make it to the very top, it'll teleport you up into this cloud, and walk carefully over here towards the lightning bolt, where you're gonna find the cloud marker right there. Now the next one is the dirt marker. In order to get this one, go ahead and head over here down this path towards the factory. 
go up this staircase and right over here next to the factory there is a hole in the wall where you can find the dirt marker now the next one we're going to be going after is the evil marker and also the rudder marker both of these are done in very similar ways so what are you going to do in order to grab this marker is you're going to head over here towards the obby mountain Go ahead and climb this ladder right here and go to the very back of this cave and touch this wall right here, which will teleport you into this room. Now for the evil marker, go ahead and type in on this board, Hill Rock. And once you enter that, go ahead and press enter. You're on the right track, but you're really wrong. What do you think Hill Rock means? Maybe you should look at the hill and see if you could find a marker. I'd say step on the rocks. Yeah, try that. And once it plays the audio right there, go ahead and type an invert just like this, and it'll go ahead and open up this wall where you can grab the evil marker. Now, if you're trying to get the runner marker, go ahead and type in the word difficulty. And once you do that, go ahead and press enter, and it will teleport you over to the difficulty chart phase. Now you're gonna have to do the difficulty chart up past the hard difficulty. So just go ahead and run through the lobby like I do all the way through. And once you get to this difficulty, go ahead and jump on this red cube right here. When you jump on this red cube, it'll teleport you to this long platform, and you have to go ahead and walk down 1,000 studs to the very end. And once you get to the end, you will be able to find the runner marker hiding right there. Now for the next one, we have the flower marker. This one is actually really difficult to do. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna head over here into the desert, and you basically have to make it across that obby right there. Yeah, that doesn't look like a lot of fun at all now, does it? Now a lot of this is timing, so just go ahead and run through. Now if you are lucky, there is a chance you just run through the entire thing without stopping, and you could make it through. But for each area, I would recommend try to sit there and figuring out the timing. But for like this one, you want to run as soon as it passes my face. So it's going to pass my face. Now it's going to move forward and we made it past it. There we go. And to be entirely honest, these last two is just a lot of luck. You just kind of have to guess when to go. I like, I like facing towards the side like this and moving side to side because it does make it a little bit easier. But it's entirely up to you. But let's go now. I did not make it. That is so difficult. Ah, uh, we almost made it there! Oh, there we go! Okay, yes, yes, as you can see, there is a chance you can just make it by purely running. So if, you have a, if you're having an issue waiting for the timings, just keep YOLO and getting you might get lucky. Like I said, this is probably like the hardest one of all the hard ones, to be honest. <laughs> Now the next one is the Fergorker. Now this one is pretty simple. All you're gonna do is you have to type a skull emoji in chat. You could either get this if you're on mobile. I'm pretty sure there's an emoji menu. Use that in your little chat bubbles. You could also Google skull emoji and copy it off of like Emojipedia, or you can go down in the description and have a skull emoji at the very top. So go ahead and clip that. But just go ahead and enter that in the chat and it'll give you the Fergorker. Now the next one is the glitch marker. To get this one, what are you gonna do is you head over into the giant obby mountain. And once you get right over here, before you go on the little um, obby right here, there is a little invisible platform you can see, you can barely see it. It's a little like brick texture. Go ahead and walk all the way to the very end of this platform. And if you look right below me, you can kind of see a little dot right there. You want to go ahead and fall right onto it. And there we go. Move back a tiny bit too. Like right, it's like right below the platform. And it'll put you into this room right here. And you have to go ahead and jump across all of these obstacles. And don't worry, if you do fall, it just teleports you right back up. So you can just keep doing it over and over again. And you have to worry about running back. But for this first jump, go ahead and wait for it to like disappear. Learn the timings, and as soon as this one disappears, it jump. 
Then you want to jump for this platform, and you want to wait for this one to go all the way down. You want to jump for that one. You want to walk across this one, oh, and jump onto this ladder. And there is three platforms here. So basically what you want to do is as soon as that one disappears, jump, then jump, jump, and jump. So right before you think it's going to disappear, jump over to the next one, and then you should be good. And as soon as you make it to this platform, go ahead and walk into the wall near the middle, and it'll teleport you into a room where you can grab the glitch marker. Now the next one you'll we'll be grabbing is the jump scare marker and also the obby marker. Now to get these, you have to go over and you have to do this giant obby in the middle of the Christmas area. So just go ahead and jump onto both of these, climb up this ladder, jump around this pillar, and try to ignore this truss. Just like you do with this jump right here, just jump around this truss wood right here. You can also go ahead and jump forward and move to the side instead if you can't move your camera too. You can do it like that instead. But once you do this one, just go ahead and jump over here, onto this circle, and to this one right here. And then you want to try to line your character up as flat as possible with this brick. And then you want to jump for it and land on top. Then this one. Then you want to walk up these stairs right here. Which will give you the jump scare marker. Then once you get that one, you want to go ahead and get Tinny the Obby. I recommend turning off Sprint for this area right here. Because this one's pretty hard with Sprint. Go ahead and jump for this tiny cube. Then this one. This one. This one that one then you want to jump up the this one and then this one has a little ladder you can climb then for this last jump make sure to turn on sprint then jump for it and then you should be able to get the obby marker right here now the next one is the magenta void marker to get this one go ahead and head over into the gallery and then you want to head to the very back of the room don't teleport to the second floor and if you look right here in the corner there's a little different shade of wall you shift lock and squeeze right in there, and then right here in the middle of the room is the magenta void marker. Now the next one is the marker stack marker. To get that one, go ahead and head over here towards the cave, and you want to talk to this blue marker in the corner. And once you're done talking to the marker, he basically wants you to find all of his friends. There are three of them around the map, and the first one you can go to is head over into the forest. And once you get over here, go ahead and walk across these vines right here over to this other hill over here. And you should be able to see the green marker hanging out on that tree. So let's go ahead and grab that one. There we go. Then the next one you can grab, go ahead and head over here on top of this mountain's fall, this path. You're basically trying to get on top of the factory. And once you get on top of the factory, if you look right here in the corner, you can go ahead and fall down and grab the red marker right here. You can also get the marker by walking over to the black base plate and just walking all the way down the side. But for the third marker, go ahead and head over into the house in the Christmas area. Go inside and right next to the fireplace is the third marker. Now once you grab all three of those, go ahead and tell we're back to spawn, head back over to the blue marker, talk to him, and he'll give you the stacked markers marker. There we go, now we have it. Now the next one is the missing texture marker. In order to get this one, go ahead and go over here to the forest. And once you get up here, go ahead and jump over to this tree right here, over where like the vine obby is, is right here. And you want to go ahead, I'm going to turn off Sprint real quick, and you want to step onto this cube right here, which will give you the missing texture marker. Now the next one is the paper marker. In order to get this one, go ahead and head over into the giant mountain. Go ahead and head over to this back corner over where the bone marker is. And if you look right over the edge, there's a little hole in the wall. Go ahead and jump out and in. And then you should be able to find the paper marker hanging out inside of here. Now the next one is the phoenix marker. In order to get this one, you want to go ahead and turn around. And you will head inside of the house and head into the fireplace. And once you get in here, head over to this back corner. Squeeze through here using shift lock. And then touch this right here, which will teleport you into an obby room. 
And right there is the Phoenix Marker. So just go ahead and jump across all of these jumps all the way over here. And now you have the Phoenix Marker. Now do keep in mind if you do fall, it does kill your character. And you have to walk back into the room. Now the next one is the Plaid Marker. In order to get this one, go ahead and head over into the Old Shop's Attic. And once you get up here, go ahead and jump on top of this tiny box. This one right here, and you want to fall into this hole on the biggest box in the room. And now you have the plaid marker. Now the next one is the polka dot marker. In order to get this one, go ahead and head over behind the giant pyramid. And once you get back here, there should be this little like floating disc right behind it. Go ahead and jump onto that, and it will teleport you into a polka dot room. Now what you're going to do is you're going to step in this green little square in the corner and you're basically going to be playing Plinko until you land in the middle and hit the little yellow square. There we go! We finally did it! So now we can go ahead and grab the polka dot marker. Now the next one is the realistic marker. In order to get this one, go ahead and head to the back of the houses over in the clock tower down. And once you get back here, there is a little image. You go ahead and walk right through there, and you should be able to get the realistic marker. Now, the next one is the salted caramel marker. In order to get this one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna head over here towards the Candyland area. And once you get to the very top, go ahead and fall down onto this little pink lollipop. And uh, this little, like, licorice find, go ahead and climb that one, and it will take you up to a room where you can grab the salted caramel marker. Now, the next ones we're gonna be grabbing is the strawberry marker and also the vermilion marker. Both of these are right next to each other. But in order to get these markers, what you're gonna do is you head over into the pyramid building. And then you will head over to the top corner, and there should be this little, like, cut out in the side. Go ahead and walk into that, and it will teleport you into this room. Now I'm gonna turn off sprint for this because these will kill you and reset your character. So let's go ahead and jump right here. Then let's jump right there. We're gonna jump right here. And then we can grab the vermilion marker. And right inside of this room is also the strawberry marker. And for the last hard marker in the game, we have the wood marker. Now how you get this one is go ahead and head over here towards the giant obby mountain. And right over here by the edge of the map, next on this tree, is the wood marker hiding over here in the corner. But there we go, that is every single hard marker in the game, all 42 of them. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know down in the comments. And also, if you're missing any of the medium or easy markers, make sure to check out the videos down in the description, because I show up locations of every single one of these. But thank you so much for being here, and I will see y'all next time. Goodbye!